Professor Thomas Perlin, Secretary General of the Nobel Committee, uh, how would you summarize what this year's Nobel Prize was awarded for? It's relatively easy to summarize. It's actually for the discovery of a virus that causes uh, very severe disease, the hepatitis C virus. Uh, so this has been a virus that has been a plague and actually affecting millions of people, and still is, unfortunately. Uh, so it's simple, simply simple to summarize it. It's for the discovery, the, the discoveries or the work that led to the discovery of this virus. And if you were to explain the discovery to an 11-year-old, what would you say? Uh, how old did you say? 11. 11-year-old. <laughs> <11 laughs> <laughs> now, I would say that, uh, to summarize it, one could say that it's, it's in three steps that you needed, uh, that was required for making this discovery. And it started with Harvey Alter, who was actually a clinical scientist at a big blood bank at National Institutes of Health in Bethesda in Washington in the US. Uh, and he was interested in following uh, transfusion patients and what happened to them and noted, he and others noted that many uh, got uh, chronic hepatitis. hepatitis. And at that time, it was known that a virus called hepatitis B virus was causing chronic hepatitis. But through his work and others, but he was really central in this, it was uh, realized that even if you, when you could start excluding blood uh, that was positive for hepatitis B virus, uh, patients still emerged. So there was this mysterious disease and uh, Harvey Alter and his colleagues, they looked for other viruses and they realized that most of the cases still uh, uh, were uh, present. So there must be a mysterious new agent and he continued to characterize this a bit further and could also demonstrate that this was really a virus. Uh, and he could also show that it was a transmissible agent since he could transfer from patient serum uh, this disease to chimpanzees. Uh, so that was the first step. But that just started the hunt for this virus, which was complicated uh, and took many years. And Michael Horton was the second laureate. He and his close team at Chiron Corporation, they uh, took a little bit unorthodox molecular approach for directly cloning uh, the virus genome. And in 1989, they succeeded with this. Uh, and it was a major breakthrough because now it was actually possible to start developing serological tests against this virus. But there was still one piece of the puzzle missing. And that was to really show that this was not just a correlation that actually this clone virus genome was responsible alone for causing the disease. And here is where Charles Rice came in and with his vast molecular characterization could uh, show what was required in the genome to transfer uh, the disease directly to sh uh, chimpanzees and see that it caused disease. And why is this discovery awarded now? Yeah, uh, as you know, Nobel Prizes uh, and the Nobel Prize committees, we, we take our time. And I, I think one could say two things. One is that it takes time before it's really clear that a discovery is important and how important it is. And, and so also in this case, after 1989, uh, when the virus was cloned, uh, it became apparent quite rapidly that it was useful for serology. But then there were additional steps that, uh, additional development that led to the development of drugs, antiviral drugs that have proven immensely important. And, and that is much more recent. So that is one reason. It takes time before it becomes apparent how important it is. But the second reason is also, that, of course, that the Nobel Committee, we, we are very careful in our work and investigate this. Uh, very carefully before we come to the decision. So what can you tell us about the laureates? Um. <laughs> I can uh, tell you that I personally have not met them. Uh, yeah. They are uh, 
highly respected scientists uh, in this field, all three of them, uh, and have been and stayed active in this field. Uh, so uh, they have their really distinct specialities, as I explained with the discovery, uh, but are enormously respected for what they have been doing and what they're continuing to do in this area. And what did they say when they got the call? <laughs> I got hold of two of them, uh, Harvey Alter and Charles Rice, and uh, uh, obviously I think I woke them up. I had to call a couple of times before they answered. Uh, they seemed very surprised and very, very happy. It was really wonderful to uh, tell them the news and con congratulate them this morning. And finally, uh, could you please, in 30 seconds, tell me why you are excited by this year's prize? The reason I'm excited is that it's hard to find something that is of such benefit to mankind as what we're awarding this year. It's discovery of a virus that has led to uh, improvements for millions of people around the world. Thank you very much. Thanks.